Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, any of that gets you fired up? If so, then it's time for you to visit Portals, Games, and Comics in Salisbury. The store's already been open for a few months, and it's been a hit. That's right, co-owners Wade and Matthew saw the success their store in Easton has had over the last few years, and when the opportunity came to expand, they pounced. The store's not only got card games, board games, and role-playing games of all kinds, they also offer folks a space to play them together. Step inside Portals, Games, and Comics, and wondrous worlds await. Greetings, fair goer. Uh, you mean to get into the carnival at this night? Yes. Whether folks fancy a Dungeons and Dragons time. adventure, collecting Pokemon trading cards, or following the story of a life-saving superhero through a comic book, they ought to feel welcomed and at home here. It's kind of like a community store for a nerd. Wade Zuloff and Matthew LeCurtz got portals going in Easton a few years ago and just this year expanded to North Salisbury. It's a much busier place, so in terms of volume, we're getting loads of it. Wade enjoys being the head of the operation while Matthew is the face. I try not to push any specific thing on anyone. I like to find out what they enjoy. And even though the impressive inside is filled with a wide variety of all things magical and action-packed, what really has folks winning is what they're building by being part of this place. People who never had friends have friends. People who weren't in relationships got relationships. Customers who never thought that they would be able to, I don't know, be part of something like that, they've all said it to us. We have like these kids that are like 9 and 10 sitting down to a table with full grown adults. And these people aren't treating them like they're, oh, these are like little children, we gotta treat them with kid gloves. They're treating them as equals and they're sitting there playing the game and having fun and it's not, they're just like not even a beat missed. Like they're, they're part of the, the crew. Two. Two? Mm -hmm. Dante Santos is the store manager. He He's also what's called a DM or dungeon master for Dungeons and Dragons. And Think of him as like the legs of the business. I had a young girl and her mom come in and she was like, I've, I've watched videos about it, I've read the books, I've made characters, but I've never ever had anyone interested in playing this game with me. She now has three different groups that she plays with. Having played for my first time while I was there, I can see why one would want to get in the game. Can I look at the um, the popping bubble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to look at that. He says, uh, gnarly knots, toil, and trouble. Would you like to ride in the bubble? Yes. Yes? And it seems like he's he's curious at the way you're responding, almost like he doesn't understand you. Do I have to speak in a riddle? Riddles, riddles, as sweet as a fiddle. Should I make up a riddle? Yes. Um, <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, oh so high. In a bubble, let me fly. Very, very good. Just um, being around these three, it doesn't take a no, wizard to see they're yeah, passionate yeah, about what they do. Wade's been into magic since the mid-90s. I would be buying the magic cards and I didn't know how to play. I'd be selling them in school until I got in trouble. I was selling them at lunch. Fortunately, now he can do so freely. No matter what interest folks have, the crew here at Portals wants to help it grow. A lot of people are nervous to pick up a game and just be like, I want to play this. When we offer a learn to play, they'll walk in happily and they'll, they'll just like, we'll show them how to do it. And the next thing you know, they meet another person while they're here. If we don't have time to teach them, our community actually steps in and will help people get into the game because they want people playing as much as we do. Matthew is proud that portals in both Salisbury and Easton are Magic the Gathering premium stores, two of only four in all of Maryland. We have exclusive products that we can carry as a, as a premium store. We have products that we can sell early because we're a premium store. And I think it's just real cool that we were like, we treat our store as if it's like a nice place to be. They're also happy to be part of Comic-Con in Ocean City. Even though this store is jam packed, I mean, look at the D20 pillow, they'll seek out any interest of any individual. 
we just figure out what people want to be part of and we cater to it. We try to make sure no one's excluded in terms of gaming. We really try to figure something out. And if somebody's interested in something, we pick it up. So choose your adventure. I would like to go to the big top. And let portals take you there.